Okay, so one of the things that's been trendy is thrift shopping. I had an idea that instead of just spending full price to pay for clothes, I'll try the thrifting thing. And I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff only to walk up with three items. And let me just say that it doesn't feel as satisfying. I'll show you the three items later. I just want to show you right quick what I got from Goodwill. How my shopping day went at, whatchamacallit, yeah it was Goodwill. So, first things first, right? Yeah, this is what I got from Goodwill. And the reason why I got it, it's like a preferable. It's preferable when it comes to like, what do I call this? A jacket? A jacket like this? Like, I think this is a leisure. You know, it's nice and snug. It fits my body. It's nice and comfortable. You know, it's not baggy. <clears throat> yeah, this is what, this is the standard I want when it comes to getting athleisure. Something that just hugs my form. Next thing that I got is this sweater. This knit sweater. And it's pretty much my favorite purchase out of the three. Again, it's comfortable. Yeah, I love the color. It's very, very comfy, very snug. Yeah, very ideal looking casual wear for me. Um, I was kind of hesitant about purchasing it because I don't know I don't really have my head fully wrapped around when it comes to purchasing quality quality products it's held up pretty nicely I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a lint a lint roller and like roll over I don't know just to get it in good shape again just roll a piece of like a lint roller over it just to get it in good shape again but I like it now let me show you this last one so this goes here this goes here this ties into the button right here right you see how it fits and yeah, and then look at the hood. The hood, you know, fits like a wick. I don't know what you call that, but I think that's called like a wick hood. It's very fairy tale, very Red Riding Hood to me. So I had to get it. It can get pretty cold in Florida, very chilly, and when it does, I could just throw this on, and yeah, I like it a lot. It's, I think it's a very unique um, wear, so I like this purchase. All three of these were $10, so that's $30, and let me just take this off and explain to you how I feel about that. So, I've been trying to build a wardrobe yeah bit by bit and i had the idea that the best way to build that is to do thrift shopping and find good stuff but i'm not very happy <laughs> with the items i just spent 30 dollars on i don't know and i think tiktok over glamorized thrift shopping to me or or i probably am not going into thrift shopping with the right mindset but i don't like the idea of new shopping right now because new shopping outside of fa fast fashion I, I don't think new shopping <coughs> okay new shopping is fast fashion i feel like there is no store where i could find good clothes that is fast fashion you know what i mean you know what i mean and i think with thrift shopping i can find stuff i can find i think you're more inclined to pick timeless pieces, pieces that can work generation to generation, so you'll never be out of style. And then the three things I picked, yeah, that, that, that those are timeless pieces. I can wear that in any time period and in the future and still 
look pretty set so and I just thought of that I just thought that yeah I did have some yet yeah, timeless pieces basically they can never really go out of style but they're boring <laughs> I want something that I could feel a bit more excited about just as excited as a new piece of clothing um I've been looking into Amazon yet to get some basics I think I need some basic clothing um yeah and We'll see about that, but this was my first attempt at building a wardrobe. That's the name of this episode. This is building a wardrobe, my first attempt at Goodwill. And stay tuned for my other attempts, and I promise my other attempts will be less boring. Alright.